Yo, yo, yo. I don't know what to say about this. So, Virtual Fire X Esports. We don't know if it's Virtual Fire 6. I was talking about Virtual Fire uh, 6 before, but boy, this is quite a good thing, you know. We're going to watch this. Like, this is a good thing because this is a sign of fine games are they're diving into esports, especially Virtual Fire. This is the trailer. I think these are like I'm not really that big on the players, but I feel like that might be like the top players. I don't know. I don't know them. Maybe someone in the chat can let me know who they are. I don't know. I don't want to disrespect either. This is the part we're all talking about. So they're saying virtual fire esports, bro. What the hell? That's that like bread and away. So this looks like there's gonna be like some type of revamp. I don't know. Virtual Fire X Esports. What could that mean? What could that mean? Are they making a new game? But you know what? If they did make a new game, I know this is an unpopular decision, but they really need to... I see a lot of people complaining, saying that, ah, oh, they don't... If they, water it, if they water it down, they'll kill the game. I don't think so. You can't keep the game as how it is or make it hard like Virtual Fire 4... Uh, evolution and all of those games you can't because you're just not gonna have people come into the game maybe that's the reason why they called it virtual fire x esports so that it makes it maybe they're making an easier game if you make a game that hard with the hard execution and the hard system and stuff like that you're only gonna get like maybe five ten people that will turn up that's a that's the reality of it and you know i i like hard games but tekken was hard before tekken tag 2 is a hard game there's a there's a lot to go in with it. There's a, it's a lot of high damage game. Um, there's a lot of strategies to it. And then, you know, Tekken 7 seems... Tekken 7 is watered, watered down compared to Tekken Tag 2 and Tekken 6. But a lot of people play that now and look at look how big Tekken 7 is. So you have to f maybe even, like, redesign the characters. Make them come out. Maybe, they, maybe make them look a bit rough. Because the one thing about Virtual Fighter is that they've always made these characters look so damn generic. Like, I love the game, but they make the characters look so damn generic. You know, Shun looks generic, Jeffrey looks generic, Akira looks generic, Kage looks generic. All these characters just look generic. Brad looks generic. Doesn't mean to say that they're fighting, the, 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 their moves and the way how they move, the animations, they're, they're beautiful. But the way how they look is generic as hell. It's like they're in the 80s. They need to, like, just jazz them up a bit. Make the stages look a bit more dirty. Like, make it look like it's an actual fight. All these stages always look beautiful and fresh and clean. Make things look a bit grimy a little. You know? I don't know. I did. That's just the ideas that I feel. I feel like they should try to change it up a bit more. You know? Maybe, you know, supers in Virtual Fighter. Maybe that might be a thing. You know, let's be honest, when Virtual Fire crossed over to Dead or Alive, it, it brought fresh attention because there was people that wanted to play Virtual Fire characters in Dead or Alive. You know, they wanted to try them out. And I was included. I wanted to try out the Dead or Alive characters in, I mean, Virtual Fire characters in Dead or Alive. But what I do think in, yeah, I think they should change, maybe make the stages a bit more rough and, you know, stuff like that. I feel like also, you know, Akira. <sighs> Man. You know, it, I feel like I, I'm going to call it out here. What if Akira's in Tekken 7? I've been calling it for the longest time. And nah, I'm joking. It probably ain't. But what if he's in Virtual Fight? What if he's in Tekken 7? He's a guest character. And then there's a new Virtual Fight game in. And then there's a Tekken character. That one, I'm, I'm, I'm pushing, I'm pushing, I'm pushing. But... All in all, this is very good news because we ain't had Virtual Fighter in a long while. It's been so many years. And for them to actually be like, they're listening, it kind of makes me wonder because I've had Sega in my Twitch chat um, a good couple times. If you lot have been in my Twitch chat, you lot will know. And 
I don't know. I, did you lot know something? Is that why you lot have been in my streams? Are you lot trying to, you lot was trying to nudge me and say, yeah, there's something coming. The actual, the actual Sega, yes, was in my chat. It was crazy. But all in all, I'm happy for it. Like, obviously, I've seen the trailer, like, a good couple of times. So the excitement's not there anymore because I've seen it so many times. But the discussion is here and we I want to talk about it with you lot. So leave a comment in the comment section down below. I also made a video before, prior to that, which the views seem to be going up since this video has been out. Um, which is called Virtual Fire 6. So if you don't want to search for that, that's I'll put it here actually. Um Virtual Fire 6, uh just ideas for it. But yeah, no, nah, I'm really, really looking forward to it. Let me know your lots of thoughts in the comment section down below and let's get this conversation started, man. Take it easy, everyone. Peace.